Let's talk about a particular type of random variable called a continuous random variable. We define this as a random variable whose cumulative distribution function is continuous. There's one very surprising property of continuous random variables, and that's the probability of landing on any one singular value is always zero. So let that sink in for a minute. The last video where we were choosing a number between negative three, negative one, and one and three, that was a continuous random variable. We plotted its cumulative distribution function. It was continuous. The odds of getting any number in particular, the odds of getting negative two, the odds of getting negative two and a half, they were all zero. Now that's uncomfortable. So just sit with that for a little bit. Let's talk about why it has to be true. We saw this in our plotting of the cumulative distribution function of a dice roll. Let's say that the odds of getting a particular number are not zero. So one tenth isn't important except that it's a probability that's not zero. And let's think about what that does to our cumulative distribution function. This is going to be similar to the thought process we had when we sketched the cumulative distribution function for a dice roll. So I have all these possible values, and here's one. And one tenth of the time, I end up at one. So here's some f of one. It's some probability that the number I get is less than or equal to one. And let's compare this to a number that's almost but not quite one. Let's call this number 0 0.999, almost but not quite one. And let's think about the probability that my value is less than or equal to 0 0.999. What events are captured in the red that aren't captured in the blue? Well, if my event is one that's counted in the red, it's not counted in the blue. No matter how close the blue gets to one, 0 0.999999, when my event turn up one, it's counted in the red, it's not counted in the blue. So that means we have a jump discontinuity. Whatever these numbers are, there's going to be a jump because one tenth of the time, my value comes up one and that's counted in f of one, but it's not counted in f of 0 0.999. So if I have a positive probability of getting some number my cumulative distribution function has a jump discontinuity. Now, it didn't matter that the probability was a tenth and it didn't matter it happened at one. Anytime there's a single value and the probability of hitting that single value is greater than zero, we get a jump discontinuity in our cumulative distribution function. So if our cumulative distribution function is continuous, there's no discontinuities the probability of any particular value happening is zero.